A new mathematics gallery, co-designed by Dame Zaha Hadid, opens at the Science Museum in London tomorrow, with the aim of showing the importance of maths in our lives. The gallery is the architect's first project to open in Britain since her death earlier this year. The design is based on mathematical principles. Our arts editor, Will Gompitz, went to see it. The late architect Zaha Hadid was a mathematics graduate and a master of the unexpected, which explains, perhaps, why the first thing you encounter when walking into the Science Museum's new maths gallery is a 1929 Handley Page biplane. We decided to position the plane in the centre of the gallery, and then everything else came from that, the air moving around the plane, and it's sort of like a graphical representation of that movement. So the floor layout that you see, the way the objects are scattered around, actually they follow the lines of the floor. This is a gallery trying to solve its own problem, which is to take a subject, perceived by some as dry and abstract, and turn it into an attraction. But why does maths, which is so central to all our lives, supposedly have an image problem? I think one of the troubles is our education system, which really compartmentalises subjects. So you go from mathematics to the physics to the history to the music lesson and I think a gallery like this is actually trying to break down those barriers so you actually see oh no mathematics is part of of music of, of architecture it has a history and I think you can see that in things like the Le Corbusier chair he's using mathematics as a way to to create art the new five million pound space has created the opportunity to look at maths from a variety of perspectives we don't tell enough stories about female mathematicians, so it's exciting to be in the gallery to see some of them highlighted and at least be able to see some of their mathematics. So for example, um, we've got the Enigma machine here, um, which was used during the war for encryption and code breaking, and of course famously was at Bletchley Park, which was full of women. The gallery has prioritised storytelling over hard maths, illustrating innovation with marvellous machines like this, the 1952 London School of Economics teaching aid, where water equates to money. Its only shortcoming was, unlike this gallery, it didn't take account of human behaviour. Will Gompertz, BBC News.